In this video, we are going to discuss what I use for my mouse and keyboard binds, as well as some other tips and tricks. I think these are probably the best settings that you can get for mouse and keyboard, but your mileage may vary. I encourage you to not just use this as a definitive guide, but also as something to learn from and make adjustments to as you see fit. So under game settings, these are the things I will always change or turn off. We're going to start from the top and work our way through. Show hints, I always set to no. Control hints, I set to no. Aim down sights toggle, I set to yes. Flight G safe defaults on, no. Flight proximity assist defaults on, no. Pilot ESP zone size degrees, I set to 20. Pilot ESP dampening curvature, I set to one. So basically what happens is the ESP will slow down your aim when you're going over a target. The reason why we want the degrees to be so high is we want that transition to be smooth. The reason why we set our sensitivity so low on it is we want it to be impactful, but not too impactful. You can see here, there's really not much of a slowdown. It's very gentle and very subtle. In my opinion, this is the best settings for a mouse and keyboard for aiming. Pilot VJoy Range Yaw 4. Pilot VJoy Range Pitch 4. So, this is what the default settings look like. You can see how long this tail is. It makes your ship a lot more slower to respond. But when we lower it here, you can maybe see the ship is a lot more snappy and responsive, and the tail is shorter. This is a superior setting. Pilot VJoy Mouse Dead Zone. Zero. Pilot velocity indicator, always on. The chevrons right there, that's your TVI. You always want to have that on, that way you can see where you're going. It's very helpful. Driver VJoy, range yaw, four. Driver VJoy, range pitch, four. Driver VJoy, mouse dead zone, zero. Turret VJoy, range yaw, Four. Turret VJoy, range pitch, four. Turret VJoy, mouse dead zone, zero. Turret ESP, dampening curvature, one. Turret ESP, zone size, 20. Guns fallback convergence distance, 100. So let's say this rock down here is a guy on the ground you want to kill and he's got a railgun. If you try to shoot him using the default settings, this is what's going to happen. Just shooting around him. Now let's try it using my settings. Much better. You're definitely going to hit that guy now. Vehicles targeting. Enable auto zoom. Unlock target. No. Pilot look ahead enabled. No. Turret look ahead enabled. No. G-force induced head movement. Zero. Global camera shake. Zero. Emissions HUD. Display signature values. Yes. So this is what your HUD emissions look like by default. This is what it looks like with the numerical signature enabled. This is much better. Much more information. Graphics. Field of view. 90. Motion blur. Off. Chromatic aberration. Zero. Film grain. No. Audio. Audio driven camera shake strength. Zero. Controls are subjective. I personally play with an 800 DPI mouse and a sensitivity of 5. Under key bindings. Vehicles. Cockpit. Open all doors, semicolon. Close all doors, apostrophe. Semicolon to open, apostrophe to close. Flight movement, psycho mouse mode, VJoy relative, caps lock. This is what it looks like when you have it disabled. And this is what it looks like when you have it enabled. This is very good for precise landings or precision aiming or just keeping your ship locked in one direction. Lock pitch yaw movement. By default, it's on right shift. I will personally unbind this as I do not use it. 
my VJoy toggle does this role for me. However, let me show you what it does. So this is what it's like when you have it disabled. And this is what it's like when you have it enabled. You can no longer move your ship, pitch, or yaw. Some people like it, some people don't. I don't. And since I don't like it, I unbind it. Request landing. By default, this is left alt plus N. You typically contact ATC by using this bind or calling them on your Moby Glass. I do not like either one, so I always bind this to F3. I go to vehicles targeting and I will unbind these three things. This will make more sense later. Pin target, pin index one, unbind. Pin index two, unbind. Pin index three, unbind. Entering remote turrets is very useful for a hotkey. I will always set the first one to insert, the second one to delete, and the third one to home. You will not use this one very often. It does have a conflict, but this conflict doesn't actually conflict with anything. This obviously only works in a ship with a remote turret, but it is most noticeable in something like the Hercules, which has two remote turrets per gunner seat, give or take. So I'll just simply press insert. I'm now in a remote turret. I'll press Y to exit, and I'll press delete, and now I'm in the other remote turret. It's that simple. I will then go to vehicles target cycling, and I'll unbind cycle attackers forward, which is on four, unbound. This will also make sense soon. I'll then go to vehicle weapons, down to toggle lead lag pips. I will bind this to control, because sometimes you will want to go to your lag pip, even though lead is your default pip. By default, we have lead on, and if I press control, it goes to lag. If I hit control again, it goes back to lead. This is very useful. Vehicles, shields, and countermeasures. Decoy, I will set to my mouse. Mouse 4, if you have a multi-bounce, this is good. Noise, mouse 5. Mouse 4 for decoy. Mouse 5 for noise. Vehicles, power, triangle assignment. This is why we unbound those things before. Weapons set to max, one. Just a conflict here, don't worry about it. Engines set to max, three. There's a conflict, do not worry about it. Shields set to max, two. Conflict, do not worry. Reset assignments, four. There's a conflict, do not worry. Number one for max power. Number two for max shields. Number three for max engines. Number four to reset. And that's it. Thank you for watching. As always, this is purely subjective. This is what works for me. You might find something that works for you. And if you do, by all means, please use it. I hope this helped. Thank you.